Hey everyone, welcome to Clean It With Rana and thank you for clicking on this video. If you're coming from Just Simply Rose's channel, welcome and let me know in the comments below so I can welcome you there as well. In today's video, I'm going to be spending some up close and personal time with my spare bathroom and as you can see, it's been spared of some TLC. I am going to not only be deep cleaning this bathroom, but also will be redecorating this space to brighten it. Hopefully this video will give you more than enough motivation to tackle an area in your home that may need some major care. On this channel, you will find organization, cleaning, and occasional decor videos. So if this interests you, please consider subscribing so you never miss a video. But before I get into all the goods of this video, I would love to mention that this is my first collaboration and I'm so glad to be doing this video in conjunction with my fellow YouTuber friend, Ayana Rose, better known as Just Simply Rose. She is such a sweetheart and I have enjoyed chatting with her and it literally feels like I've been knowing her for a very long time so that says so much about her as a person. I'm going to allow her to introduce herself so you can see for yourself. Hi, welcome to Just Simply Rose. On my channel, I provide lots of cleaning, organization, and decluttering videos, as well as tons of laundry motivation. And if you are into DIYs, I have a special playlist just for you. If you are coming from Clean It With Rana, please enjoy her video. And after you have finished watching, I would love for you to head over to Just Simply Rose. And if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and let me know that you're here so that I can properly watch welcome you. Thank you so much for watching. So please, as she just mentioned, when you finish watching this video, please head on over to Just Simply Rose's channel and check out her newest video. You will fall in love with her and her content just as I have. Now on to the video. Have you ever had that room that you don't really go into that much at all? So then you tell yourself, I'll just clean it up and then it starts to accumulate like dust and dirt and then just kind of get neglected. That was pretty much what this room was. Tomorrow turned into like a year or something like that. And then it didn't help that it was a guest bathroom and we haven't had guests because of COVID and everything. So it pretty much just became like the pit stop for a bunch of junk. So that's pretty much what happened with this room. The way I knew it was time to clean this room was when my daughter said, ew, if someone were to go in there to try to clean it, they die. Then I was like, oh no, it's time to get up and be a better example. So that's what made me come in here. So pretty much the way that I cleaned this room, I had to plan it out in order to really get it done in a decent time. So I first decided to clear the floors and the surfaces of all of the different things that just really didn't belong in there. Then I cleaned the sink and then next you're gonna see me doing the mirrors. And actually, if you stay tuned, you're, I'm gonna share a tip that really worked well for me with the dust that sometimes accumulates at the top of your mirrors. I'm cleaning these mirrors with a microfiber cloth. I've noticed that it helps to cut down on the dust that happens whenever you are cleaning a mirror. I used to do a paper towel, but that would actually increase the dust. And later what you're gonna see me doing is I'm turning off the light so that I can reduce the amount of dust that comes because it's a lot of it is getting trapped by the light. So I'm turning the light off so that I can clean and then actually get the dust off. If you're still watching, drop in the comments and let me know if you clean your mirrors with the microfiber cloth. Normally I would have just vacuumed this area, but because there are such tight spaces, I really wanted to have control over the dirt and the dust and getting rid of it. So I decided to go old school and use a good old fashioned broom and dustpan.
since I had already tackled the sink and the mirrors, I decided to move on to the toilet and I wanted to make sure I really sprayed this toilet down pretty well because it had been such a long time since it had been cleaned. I'm also using a microfiber cloth to clean the toilet as well, but of course I switched out the microfiber cloth so that I wouldn't be using the same one that I used to clean the sink. I'm cleaning the sides of the toilet now. Those always seem like they're forgotten about. Like you kind of just clean the bowl, but then you forget about the little cracks and the crevices and even kind of on the floor around the toilet. But those are so important. So if you're still watching, please let me know in the comments below, do you do that when you clean your toilet or how often do you do that? Like, do you think that you need to do that more often or what? I'm not sure if you have a specific way that you like to clean your toilet, but I tend to like to clean mine from top to bottom, but I save the bowl for last. I don't know what it is, but I just always feel like I need to save the bowl for absolute last. There's definitely something super satisfying about seeing the transformation from the way a toilet can look on the inside in the bowl to the way it looks at the end and then you do that last flush and you're like, ah, okay, so much better. this was kind of interesting so i was trying to use this thing that my husband bought and it's like you pretty much pour a pack of it down your toilet and then you allow it to sit and foam for like six hours and then you can flush it however the funny part is i think i was supposed to do that in the place of cleaning my toilet but i didn't realize that until the end so i just put it in there for a good extra after the fact but yeah I'll link all the little things that I used down below in the description box. So at this point, I had to bust a Cinderella, okay? I had to literally get in there with a toothbrush and start really scrubbing and scraping and all kinds of things in this shower because again, it had not been used in a long time.
so of course in order to do this I had to get into the tub to clean the shower and one of my daughters walked by and was like ew there's no way you could pay me to do that and I was like hold on now don't be sleeping on this bathroom now this, look this was the forgotten about room but I'm, I'm showing it some love and I'm gonna have faith in it and then of course I'm gonna have to really take a good bath after this At this point, I was thinking to myself, okay, five to 10 minutes a day will keep the hours away. Cause really, if I would have come in here to do more tidying, I wouldn't have to spend so much time <laughs> cleaning this now, but that's okay because at least it's getting done. All right, all you mommies, please let me know if you've ever done this. So this used to be my younger girl's bathroom. When I started teaching the older girls how to run the bath water for the younger girls, I had to put these color-coded stickers here to let them know how high to fill the, the tub water and how hot to run the water. That way no one had any issues and everything. They loved it, but it stayed on there for quite a long time. So let me know if that is like a hack that you've ever used or if you can see yourself using this currently. Listen, earlier I compared myself to Cinderella. Let me just say that if I was Cinderella, I have definitely earned my entire trip to the ball and the dress and everything and the slippers. Now I'm putting some finishing touches to the sink and also around the toilet area before I move on to the shower curtain, which I really think was my favorite part of this whole video. The trash can came from Target, and then the items that are on the sink came from Bed Bath & Beyond, and then this green plant came from Target. I think it was the dollar spot. And then the blue vase came from at home. My daughter was telling me where to move things because she wants to be an interior designer. Quick tip, if you want to redecorate or redesign a bathroom, make sure that the shower curtain lining that you get is one that has the little metals. It's either weighted at the bottom or it has like the little magnets at the bottom in order to keep it in place. I have made the mistake of not doing that before and uh, no, I've, I have regretted it. So this shower curtain was the focal point of the whole bathroom. Like I literally themed the bathroom around this shower curtain. It had like an elegant nautical type feel to me. And it's by Kate Spade. And like I said, I will try to link everything down below. But I felt like with this shower curtain, plus getting some silver chrome-ish type shower curtain hooks, it would really set this bathroom off. And then if I do a lot of white and chrome, which you'll see that white, clear, and chrome all throughout this bathroom, it'll really brighten it. course with this being a nautical theme type bathroom you know some captain obvious had to come by and let me know that the shower curtain was uneven so thanks 
So I completely forgot that I was supposed to be doing a DIY on this wall. I was supposed to be taking some picture frames and doing like a whole little spray paint thing and all that. And I like completely forgot and put up a different picture and then realized the picture, the holes weren't right compared to the picture that I had just taken down. So then I had to go and get a hammer and try to fix it. So it was just the whole thing. So on top of Cinderella, now I'm looking like MacGyver. These beautiful white rugs came from Bed Bath & Beyond. So now it's time to actually take some time and organize underneath the sink. It wasn't like a whole lot of things under there, but there was definitely a better system that I could have put in place. So what I did was I got rid of the things that I really was not just, I just wasn't gonna use. And then my daughter and I made a really quick run to Bed Bath & Beyond and we got this turntable for the cleaning supplies and then a regular size clear container for toiletries. And here we decided to get all the way bougie and get actual guest towels. And so the spare ones we put underneath with the toiletries. To further add to the bougie-ness, okay, we're just gonna claim that that's pretty much what's going on here. I went on and put some towels, some little guest towels from Target. My daughter said, uh-uh, don't undo the little tie on them, keep it on there. So I did. And here I'm just pretty much organizing any of the little spare things that I had and putting them in the drawers. And then of course, rolling up some extra microfiber cloths to go in along with the cleaning supplies. Again, <coughs> bougie. <coughs> so uh, yeah. Um, my daughter had the idea to go ahead and put guest towels in a little silver container and put it on the toilet. So yeah, we did. And this Clorox toilet bowl cleaner and plunger both came from Target. I didn't want to have to be searching for any one of them like I used to have to do. And now here is the finished product. looks so much better. And now it doesn't have to be the forgotten about room. But the crazy part is now everybody is like, I want to use it in there. I want to take a shower in there. And I'm like, uh-uh, don't be trying to like it now. So now if I can just keep everyone out of there, it can stay clean for another couple of years. <laughs> no, I'm just totally joking. Hopefully this video gave you a lot of cleaning motivation and all the little spring 
thrills and feels. And again, if you are coming from Just Simply Rose's channel, thank you so much for watching. And for all of my returning subscribers and anyone else who is watching this video, thank you so much. I hope that if you are not a subscriber that you will consider subscribing and that this video brought you much value. Take care and see you next time. Bye-bye.